Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're going to go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get started with the energy. Um, I'm feeling um, an energy that came up in yesterday's reading. Um, where you collective or some of you um, in, in the collective are showing up as the Hierophant and that's the energy that we're going to go ahead and start out with, with, this, uh, with, which is our first major arcana showing up on the board. This is you collective fully in your spiritual seat of power on your spiritual throne. You've got your crown on your head. You understand who you are working for the most time. A lot of you have come into your spiritual gifts. I called out um, in a previous read, um, you know, you probably got an upgrade in your spiritual gifts. You know what I'm saying? Because of uh, four wands and the upright came out and I did feel an energy of an elevation in your spiritual gifts. You know, they don't all come like, boom, you got them all. You know what I mean? <laughs> they come at different times in your spiritual journey. Congratulations to those who have, you know, elevated. And if it has not happened yet for you, it will be on your journey. Trust me, it just does not happen all at once. Um, it will come after different things that you learn the lessons of. And that's kind of how it goes. It's a journey, right? It's a lifelong journey. But this is your current energy collective. You are in the upright. You're in the, your spiritual seat of power. Um, some of you um, may have started using your gifts for the benefit of the community, for the most high. Um, and honestly, that's really what it's all about. Your gifts are not just for you, you know, to say, hey, look at me, I'm cool, I have spiritual gifts, right? And I think you guys know that. I'm just kind of, you know, probably preaching to the choir right now. <laughs> but, you know, when you come into your spiritual gifts, it's meant to be shared. It's meant to be given. It's given to you for a reason to help the rest of the collective and the overall elevation of the, uh, the energy of all of humanity. That's what it's for, you know? There may be some people out there who use their gifts for the wrong reason. That's not why they were given their gifts. It's meant for the betterment and the elevation of mankind. Somebody out here gets it, you know? So that's that Hierophant energy. You are in your spiritual throne right now. You are in the community. You are using your gifts. Maybe it's not even that grand of a scale. Maybe you're using your gifts to help somebody else close to you, right? It doesn't need to be on a grand scale. You don't even have to be on YouTube or anything talking about it, but you're using your gifts for the good and the betterment of mankind. That's exactly what the Hierophant does. You're a spiritual leader of sorts, right? Congratulations out there who are out there. Um, but it's coming out right next to the Four of Cups uh, energy, which is also your energy collective. This is all you, but you don't get to that Hierophant energy without dealing with some stuff, am I right? A lot of people had to go through some stuff. You had to learn lessons. You had to learn to overcome a lot of traumatic issues. Um, you know, quite frankly, it is said that your spiritual journey, or excuse me, a traumatic event is what puts you in directly in the path of your spiritual journey. A lot of people had to go through that. A lot of people, maybe somebody is out there right now. You know, it, it, sometimes people come into their spiritual gifts because they're trying to tap into it intentionally, but a lot of times it happens after a traumatic event. But that traumatic event is brought into your life so you can learn from it to become this higher font. Somebody knows, but this was what you had to overcome, which is why I bring all that up. Four of Cups is the energy of not seeing what was in your face because you're looking at something else. And this is where I call in the energy of what the traumatic situation was. What I'm feeling in the energy is it's kind of a look back, right, Collective? You're here, you're at your spiritual seat, you're at your um, your seat of power right now, you're working for the most high or using your gifts for good at this moment for the betterment of community. But what you had to overcome was this situation. Look at this card. Here's you looking all kind of disgruntled. <laughs> you're not looking happy. You, you're looking at these three cups down here. You're looking at them, but you're not satisfied with them. This could be an ex, this could be a job, this could be friends or family. You're looking at them, you got three cups, you have them, but you're not satisfied with them. The whole time, the best cup for you was what the Most High was trying to send you the entire time. I know y'all know what's going on here. This is gonna resonate with you. This is somebody's story. This is somebody's story. That ex that you were in your head about that, will they change, won't they change? That that friend or family member, like, oh my God, why won't they stop doing this? That job that you know that you didn't like <laughs> and you couldn't wait to quit? <laughs> That's, that's all these cups down here. 
you were looking at him. Look at your face. You're not even happy. The Four of Cups in the upright energy is a card of being discontent, apathetic, or bored with what you have in your face. You were not happy. You had cups. You had a boyfriend, a husband, whatever the situation was. Girlfriend, take the energy as it resonates. You had a partner that was not good to you. You had a friend or a family member that was not treating you right. You know, gossiping, talking about you behind your back. And you're like, why? What did I do to you? Your job that you just could not understand why people just trying to come for you and trying to get you fired. Y'all know what I'm talking about. This is you. Somebody had a, 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 this fourth cup up here trying to be given to you by the divine the entire time. And this is going to resonate with you because this is right next to you, collective. You were being given your spiritual gifts the entire time you were worried about this other petty stuff down here you didn't even like. Come on, y'all. Y'all hear me. You hear me. Because these were the trials and tribulations that you had to go through to get in your seat of power. You wouldn't just be here just because, presto, I'm the higher fuck. It don't work that way, collective. You had to go through some stuff. You had to go through some stuff. Just like in, in the tarot, the journey of the empress and the emperor, you have to pass the test of the queen of wands, queen of pentacles, queen of cups, and queen of swords to get to the emperor, empress level. Same thing with the higher font. You just can't be a spiritual leader or come into your spiritual gifts without going through something. This is right next to your energy. Y'all know what I'm saying. You had these things and you weren't happy with them. Whoever your ex-partner was, whoever that friend or family member was, whoever that job was, you had them, but you weren't happy with them the entire time. The Most High was trying to get your attention with your seat of power. You didn't need none of them. Come on, y'all. And this is beautiful. And this is why I'm telling you it's beautiful because look back. This is, like I said, this is a look back. Turn your head. Look back where you came from. This was where you came from. Isn't this a big difference in your energy? This is a major difference in your energy. You did not need that ex. You were the higher font the, entire, the whole time. You did not need that friend or family member. You were the higher font the, the entire time. You did not need that job that you weren't happy with that you were trying to quit every day. <laughs> you were the higher font the entire time. You were the spiritual leader that the Most High was trying to tell you that you were. Look at this cloud. <laughs> Look at the cloud. This is the cup that you were supposed to have your spiritual gifts, your inheritance, who you really were underneath it all. This fourth cup given to you by the divine, the most high. Somebody understands what I'm saying. You were supposed to let that stuff go. This was the cup you were supposed to take and you finally did. Confirm with the Ten of Cups and the Upright. Come on, y'all. <laughs> Come on. You see what I'm seeing. You see what I'm seeing. Ten of Cups is unconditional love. The unconditional love that the Most High gave you. You didn't need that love from the ex that couldn't figure out how to act right. You didn't need that love from the co-worker or the friend or family member that was just trying trashing you, talking behind your back and starting conflict and you didn't know why. You didn't need that job. There's no loyalty for a job, a job that'll drop you like a bad habit. Come on, y'all. Y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> the Ten of Cups is your current energy because you're the higher font right now. This was the cup that the Most High was trying to give you the entire time and you've made it. This is the look back. Turn your head back. You see this in your story, Collective. But you're not there anymore. You're here. Ten of Cups. Unconditional love. Fulfillment. Contentment. Your life is what it looks like now because you're the higher font. This is who you were meant to be the entire time. The Most High was trying to tell you while you were going through that stuff. You just had to see it for yourself, Dorothy. Look at you now. Ten of Cups. <laughs> Emotionally fulfilled. Living life. Loving life. You got a smile on your face. You got a pep in your step. You needed the Most High. You didn't need that ex. You didn't need that friend or family member. You didn't need that job. You needed to become who you really were. The higher friend. In addition to that, you're also the magician. This is all powerful for you. Somebody understands because this is your story. This will resonate. The magician is someone who has control of all the elements. The Hierophant definitely has control of all the elements. The Most High will give you the tools. Your ancestors give you the tools. Your spiritual guides will give you the tools. The magician uses every element to create their own life, their own destiny, to create the life and the destiny and fulfillment to the cups that the Most High meant you for, for you to have. You didn't need anybody to create it for you. You had it in you the entire time, Dorothy. Magician energy. This is the magician 
energy that the Most High gives you, not any fabricated spell work out of a book. Let me just call a spade a spade, y'all. <laughs> Let me just call a spade a spade. Sometimes the magician card can be read as, um, you know, any type of spell work in the upright. But con confirm with the higher font, your energy comes from the divine, the most high. Combined with the magician, you were powerful because the divine, the most high, the universe, however you want to call it, is in you. Because you had to see that you didn't need anybody else to be who you really were. Well, the most high already said that you were. You're the magician. You can create whatever you want to create. Why? Because the most high put that in you. It's already there. You just had to remember it and remember it for yourself. Accept the cup that the Most High was trying to give you. This is somebody's story out here. I know you know what I'm saying. I know you know what I'm saying. And as you look back to what you left, doesn't it feel good? Doesn't it feel good? Ten of Cups good? <laughs> doesn't it feel good? Why is that? Um, what is that commercial? Doesn't it feel good to pay less? Oh my goodness, what happened to pay less, y'all? Y'all gonna get me just starting to sing some jingles here? I don't know what happened to that store. But doesn't it feel good to pay less pain? Doesn't it feel good to pay less struggle? Doesn't it feel good to pay less going back and forth in your mind about the situation? All you had to do was take the cup from the divine to get to the Ten of Cups. It was already in you. The Most High was trying to give it to you the entire time. This is gonna resonate with you. And it's going to resonate with you because you had strength in the inverse energy. What was making you weak is looking at those other cups, looking at all the things that did not serve you. Strength in the inverse is succumbing to your weaknesses, succumbing to urges, being weak, not being able to be strong in your decision making. That was what was holding you back from being the higher font. Come on, let's be honest with yourself. There was a lot of indecision. And being honest with you, it happens. It is a part of the journey. And I mentioned that in one of my videos. The healing journey, the, the path to the Hierophant is not easy. It is hard. It is back and forth. It is confusing. You don't know which way is up. You're asking for the divine, your ancestors and spirit guides for help. But you got these other cups down there that you are trying to figure out, do I still need to stay attached to them? That came out on this morning's channel message from the Most High about letting go of things that no longer serve you. This is what it is, and it's coming out in the cards, y'all. It is no coincidence it's coming out in these cards. It's in the energy, okay? But once you release those cups that no longer served you, whatever it may have been, doesn't always have to be an ex. Could have been that job that you wanted to quit every time you wanted to walk in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? But whatever it was, it was making you weak. It stopped you from being the higher front that you now are because you've released it. Confirmed with the ten of, uh, ten of Swords and the Inverse, you had to come out of a painful ending. This is a card I read both ways. You can't be in a Ten of Swords, a painful ending, you know, a, a painful situation, a betrayal, if that never happened to you. You can't come out of something that never happened. For a lot of you, it was an ex. A lot of exes and traumatic situations do come out in the energy, you know? And like I said, at the beginning, you can't get to the higher font just by snapping your fingers. All right, I'm a spiritual leader just because I read a book. It doesn't happen that way. You have to overcome some things. You have to get your power back. You have to accept what the Most High has given you. This is a path to becoming the higher font. You got to know how to get through the trials and tribulations by going through the trials and tribulations. Come on now. I know what you I know you know what I'm saying. This is somebody's story out here. You just can't walk around being a spiritual leader. I took a class. I read a book. It doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. I just want to help somebody. You can help them, but the path to the higher font has to go through some things. It's things that the Most High wants you to see. There are lessons in life that you have to learn for yourself by going through them. Seeing that you didn't need that ex, seeing that you didn't need that friend or family member, seeing that you did not need that job, and seeing that what the Most High was giving you was better than all of them. Hierophant. Somebody had a betrayal, a backstab. A lot of that happens when you're on your spiritual journey. A lot of people try to come for you because when you start shining that light, uh-uh, people don't like it. They don't want you doing better than them. They try to shut you down and dim your light. But you know what? It never works. It never works. Strength in the inverse. It might have made you weak. It might have had you down. It might have had you pissed off and depressed. But it will never keep you down. 
Ten of Swords in the inverse. You had to come out of that painful ending. Right, Collective? You had to come out of Three of Pentacles in the inverse energy. Um, Three of Pentacles in the inverse is people being in their ego, things being one-sided and not fair. People not being on your side. Confirmed with the Ten of, Sur Ten of Swords in the inverse. A lot of backstabbing betrayal. A lot of people were not for you. They were not for you. These cards coming out side by side are not by mistake. And this is all confirmation of what I'm saying. You had to see these things to get through these things to get to the Hierophant. You had to come out of a backstab and betrayal. You had to come out of people being in their ego and not being for you to get to your Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment by yourself. This is self-love all day long, y'all. All day long. You didn't need anybody else to give you love. You had it in you the entire time. You were just giving it to the wrong person. Come on. You hear what I'm saying, Collective. You hear what I'm saying. And this is all justice for you. Look at this, y'all. Look, it's justice. The Most High gave you the power in you yourself to get through all of this. You just had to learn your lesson. It's justice for you to come out of this. It was justice for you to come through what people tried to do to make you weak. The backstabbing betrayal, the being not on your side, all this. These were the lessons. I, look, y'all, I couldn't have set it up any different. Matter of fact, I didn't set these up. This is the energy. But the thing about it is, is that the, the energy is telling your story. These were the lessons for you not to be weak, for you to be who you were, for you to come out of backstabbing betrayal from these other options that you thought you needed to keep, for you to realize that people were not for you and you giving yourself self-love is your justice to be the magician to make your own reality you come on y'all y'all see this this is your story these are the trials that you had to pass to become the spiritual leader that you are right now you can't say how to get through anything if you've never gotten through anything that's nice it's all in a book and you you went to a class or a seminar hearing somebody else's story but if you never went through it you can't speak about it come on y'all come on Going through the tests, going through the trials and tribulations was how you get to the higher font stage that you are now. It's meant to be that way. The spiritual journey is like that for everyone. You gotta go through something to get through something, to show somebody else to get through it. You see what I'm saying? It's all justice. All of it's justice, it's your justice. Confirm with the two of swords in the inverse. You were the one that had to come out of indecision from being weak and seeing things that were not, um, or trying to stay attached rather to things that no longer serve you. You had to come out of indecision and a stalemate. You were the one that had to make that choice. Nobody was going to make it for you, Collective. And that's why this Four of Cups is down here. You're looking at them. You're like, I'm not happy with them, but I want to keep them. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Literally confirmed with the two of swords in the inverse energy. You were the one that had to decide these cups weren't worth keeping. Let him go. Take the cup that the divine was trying to give you. That was the cup you needed to get to the Hierophant, to get to your Ten of Cups, to get to the Magician. Come on, you know what I'm saying. And it feels good, doesn't it? It feels good. Confirm with the Six of Wands. Here you go. Look, y'all, I don't have to make this stuff up. It's in the energy. Six of Wands in the upright is victory and success. You have made it. The most high, your archangels, your ancestors are celebrating you in the ethers. You made it. This was where you were supposed to be in the first place. But you had to get through some stuff to get there. And it was your justice to get there. You are victorious. You are victorious by getting through what you got through to get here. You see what I'm saying, Collective? Seven of Swords in the inverse. You had to see that these people that were not on your side, look look how this energy flows, y'all. Seven of Swords is the in, the inner uh, Seven of Swords in the inverse energy is lies being exposed. The lies of all the people that were not on your side, that were stabbing you behind your back, backstabbed you, gang stalked you, cyber stalked you, talked about you in your face. You had to see that these people were lying. You had to expose their lies. A lot of times when you're on your spiritual journey to come becoming uh, the higher font being that spiritual leader using your spiritual gifts from the most high you start shining so bright that people don't like it they don't like it your your light irritates their demons all right but it gets to a point where they try to take you down because of that 
Their demons don't like you shining. They want to put out your light, but at the same time, you were the one, two of swords in the inverse, that had to make the decision to come out of the situations that people were trying to put you in, to make you weak, to backstab and betray you, to act like they were your friend or your buddy or your partner. None of them were. Seven of swords in the inverse synergy. You exposed their lies. Their lies came out. None of these people were for you. Literally, these three of cups, I can literally match up these, these cards. One, two, three, to these three cups sitting down there. None of them for is for your highest good. The cup the divine was trying to give you was the only one you were supposed to take or keep to get your 10 of cups. You know what I'm saying. This is your story. This will resonate with you because you went through this or are currently going through this. Now look at you now. Nine of pentacles in the upright. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. You are single, self-sufficient, and independent. The queen of pentacles reigns by herself. She supports herself just like a magician and a hierophant does. You are a one-man band out here for the most high, and it is your justice to be that. Look at these pentacles. These are earthbound things manifesting using the energy of the magician, manifesting your reality, manifesting your stability and your security, which is what the pentacles represents. You can create your own reality. You did not need these people. I don't care what it was, who it was. You didn't need them. You needed the most high, what the most high was trying to give you. Your ascension, raising your vibration, getting out of craziness, using your spiritual gifts for the community to help the rest of everybody else that's going through this. This is what you were supposed to take, that cup from the divine. This is your energy. All of this is your story collective. All of it is. What's also your justice? is for you to be independent, self-sufficient and independent from my only clarifier, the emperor and the inverse. This could be somebody's ex. This could be that friend or family member. This could have been that boss of that job that you hated. The emperor and the inverse is somebody who is not a leader. They're a follower. They're arrogant, overbearing, egotistical, rude, cold, dominant. They're all the kings of the deck in the inverse. They're cold, they're rude, they're manipulative, they're a liar, and they're greedy. Emperor in the inverse. Y'all choose energy does not match. This is somebody's ex out there that did not want to let them go. You didn't need them in the first place. This is somebody's friend or family member out there that was talking about you behind your back, trying to sabotage you at every turn, making sure everybody knew you were crazy. You're a spiritualist. Oh, you're into all that uh, magic stuff. Mm -hmm. Talking about you behind your back. This is somebody's boss at your, at your job trying to get you fired at every turn because they didn't like you. You outshine them. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You hear me. This is your story. You had to see that these cups were not worth keeping. You had to let them go. Let go of things that no longer serve you, Collective. That's what you were supposed to do to get to your Ten of Cups, to get to the Hierophant energy, to get to the Magician energy. It is your justice to let things go. If your energy does not resonate with it, let it go. It's supposed to alert you to that on purpose. That is the divine energy in you, letting you know it's time to cut it off. It's time to cut it off. And you did for whoever I'm talking to. Congratulations, you have made it. It's only up from here. You. This is all good energy. This is just talking about what you left, Collective. The higher font, 10 of cups in the upright, magician in the upright, your justice, six of wands in the upright. This is a victory. This is a celebration. You have made it. Congratulations, Collective. I want to scream and clap for you. <laughs> You've got your ancestors supporting you. You've got your spirit guides and the most high supporting you all the way. This is the this is the finish line. You made it. Congratulations. Let's go ahead and get some advice from our um, uh, this, uh, visions of duality tarot. We can help our energies move forward. Card 18, the farthest shores. Let's see what this says. Youth, uh, excuse me, the unknown terrifies us. It also inspires us. The worst of us approach the unknown to change it, but the best of us understand that the purpose of the unknown is to change us. In all cases, when we face the strange uniqueness of the universe, we cannot but feel small and inconsequential. But because we can be safe and pivotal, pivotal in a small world, but we are but dust when compared to the stars. The sense of wonder is what allows us to echo the divine in our life. The fear of the unknown is just an echo of ourselves. Advice, 
Notice the miracles all around you. Stop for a second and savor the wonder. Exactly. Savor the wonder of taking this cup from the divine to be the Hierophant. This is a blessing, y'all. This is the blessing you are meant to have. It's your abundance. It's your Ten of Cups. Let's go ahead and get a profit card and we'll wrap up our reading. Card 20. The light that lingers becomes a shadow to another light. All right, let's see what this says. You shall be free indeed when your days are not without a care, nor your nights without a want and grief. But rather when these things girdle your life, and yet you rise above them naked and unabound. And how shall you rise above your nights and days, unless you break the chains which you at the dawn of your understanding have fastened around your noon hour? In truth, that which you call freedom is the strongest of those chains, though it links glitter in the sun and dazzles your eyes. And what is it but fragments of your own old self that you would discard that you may come, become free? I couldn't have said it better, y'all. I literally could not said it better. This was the old self that you had to release to become your true self, the Hierophant. You just had to recognize it for yourself. That's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.